And again, that, that's why do we have the classics? Because they're useful to us now. No one cares what happened 20 minutes ago or 100 years ago or, I mean, that's all dry, dry stuff. It's if it's useful. It's useful to know about the Civil War. It's useful to know about the heritage of the United States and other countries. It's useful to understand our political systems that were created a while ago and to decide whether they need to be maintained or changed or whatever. It's useful to know what the ancients thought because for I don't know what in hell was in the water back then, but there were a lot of very, very smart people in classical antiquity, and they wrote a lot of very smart stuff, a tiny fragment of which has survived. If my whole copious body were Greek literature, all we have of it is maybe what makes up my thumb or the tip of my nose. That's how much of it has been lost. And yet that stuff is of such extraordinary richness. And it can help us to live our lives today. And that's why it's important. And uh, maybe one isn't familiar with it or, or, or could become more familiar with classical antiquity. I think it'd be impossible to, I don't know all of it. I don't know all of Greek literature or all of Latin literature. Uh, the little that survives is, is, is too vast for that. But uh, there are wonderful nuggets out there if you want to explore it and that can give you comfort and, uh, and help you get through this thing called life. I think that's why, uh, that's the only reason it's, it is of relevance is because it, it can speak to us still today and help us to live better lives and, and comfort us. Uh, a thing a friend of mine said when my mother was dying I was uh, 31. I was very lucky I had her as long as I did. And I had just gotten the news that my mother was dying. And a friend of mine who was a classics major said, well, you know, Euripides says uh, it's the nature of things for children to bury their parents. And I believe that's a line or a paraphrase of a line from Euripides Alcestis. And I found that enormously comforting. It is the nature of things for children to bury their parents and not the other way around. And uh, that in my grief, uh, that was something solid to stand on. Not that that made it all right, or that I didn't want my mother to, I wish she were still alive. Uh, I remember feeling I wished I could take her place, as many children do at the prospect of losing a parent. But that idea that, that it is the natural of order of things for uh, the child to bury the parent and coming from you know, that, 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 that source of Euripides, you know, the, 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 uh, that cachet of, of wisdom, if you will, uh, was comforting. And I'd say that's something where they most, uh, that it, it most touched me.